वेलकम टू माय चैनल अमेजिंग वर्ल्ड विथ शौर्यजीत आई होप यू आर एंजॉय माय वीडियोस टुडे वी विल गो टू एक्साइटिंग जर्नी थ्रू स्पेस वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर द इनक्रेडिबल एंड अमेजिंग सोलर सिस्टम द सोलर सिस्टम इज लाइक आवर कॉस्मिक नेबरहुड एंड इट्स मेड अप ऑफ द सन एट प्लैनेट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ अदर कूल स्टफ The solar system is the gravitational bound of system of the sun and the objects that orbit it. The largest of such object from a planetary system of eight planets in order from sun. There are four terrestrial planets named Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars and four giant planets including two gas giants and Jupiter and Saturn and two ice giants Uranus and Neptune. The terrestrial planets have a definite surface and are mostly made of rock and metal. The gas giants are mostly made of hydrogen and helium, while the ice giants are mostly made of volatile substances such as water, ammonia and methane. These terrestrial and giant planets are called the inner solar system and the outer solar system. The solar system formed 4.6 billion years ago from large molecular cloud. Several stars formed from this cloud, as is typical of molecular clouds. This one consisted mostly of hydrogen with some helium and small amounts of heavier elements. As the region that would become the solar system known as the pre-solar nebula. Now we will see the planets of solar system one by one. First up. We have the sun. It's the biggest and the brightest star in our solar system. The sun provides us with the light and heat, making life possible on Earth. The sun is the solar system star, and by far its most massive component. The sun is the star at the center of the solar system. It's a massive hot ball of plasma energy produced by nuclear fusion reactions. part of this internal energy is emitted from its surface as a light ultraviolet and infrared radiation which providing most of the energy for life on earth sun comprises 99.86% of all the mass in the solar system this releases a large amount of energy mostly radiated into space as electromagnetic radiation peaking in visible light so Now we will see Mercury. Mercury is the nearest planet from the sun and the smallest in the solar system. It's a terrestrial planet with a heavily cratered surface due to overlapping impact events. Mercury has diameter of 4880 km and is dense enough to have roughly the same surface gravity as Mars. Mercury has a dynamic magnetic field with a strength about 1% of that of Earth and has no natural satellites. Mercury orbits the sun within Earth's orbit making it appear in Earth's sky only as a morning star or a evening star that is relative close to the sun. In English it is named after a Roman god Mercurius Mer Uh, god of commerce communication and the messenger of gods mercury is the most difficult planet to reach from earth because it requires the greatest change in the spacecraft's velocity now we will move to venus venus is the second planet from the sun it is a rocky planet with the dense atmosphere of all the rocky bodies in the solar system and the only one with the mass size that is close to that of its orbital neighbor earth it is similar to earth in size and mass and is often described as earth sister or twin venus has a diameter of 12103.6 km orbiting inferiorly it appears in earth sky always close to the sun as either a morning star or an evening star like mercury but venus appears as most prominently since it is uh, the third brightest object in earth sky after the moon and the sun now is our planet earth 
Earth is the third planet from the sun and the only astronomical object known to harbor life. This is the enabled by Earth being a water world, the only one in the solar system sustaining liquid surface water. Almost all of Earth's water is contained in its global ocean covering 70.8 of Earth's crust. The remaining 29.2% of Earth's crust is land, most of which is located in the form of continental land masses within one hemisphere, Earth's land hemisphere. Most of Earth's land is somewhat humid and covered by vegetation, while large sheets of ice at Earth's polar desert retain more water than Earth's groundwater, lakes, rivers and atmospheric water combined. Earth's crust consists of slowly moving tectonic plates which interact to produce mountain ranges volcanoes and earthquakes. Earth has liquid outer core and generates a magnetosphere and capable of deflecting most of the destructive solar winds and cosmic radiation. Earth is routed into an ellipsoid with a circumference about 40,000 km. It is the densest planet in our solar system. Earth is about 8 light minutes away from the sun and orbits it, taking a year to complete one revolution. Moon natural satellite of Earth, which orbits Earth and is roughly a quarter as wide as Earth, Earth, like most other bodies in the solar system, formed 4. billion years ago from gas in the early solar system. During the first billion years of Earth's history, the ocean formed and then life developed within it. Human emerged 3 lakh years ago in Africa and have spread across every continent on Earth with the exception of Antarctica. Humans depend on Earth's biosphere and natural resources for their survival but have increasingly impacted the plant's environment. Humanity's current impact on Earth's climate and biosphere threatening the li livelihood of Earth, life on Earth. Now next interesting planet. Mars is the fourth planet and the furthest terrestrial planet from the sun. The reddish color of its surface is due to finely grained iron oxide dust in the soil giving it the nickname the red planet. Mars has a thin atmosphere made primarily of carbon dioxide and two irregular shaped natural satellites Phobos and Deimos. Like the other planets in the solar system, Mars was formed approximately 4.5 billion years ago. Mars is among the brightest objects in Earth's sky and thus has been known from ancient times. Its high contrast albedo features make it a common subject for viewing with a telescope. Currently, Mars is an attractive target for the first future interplanetary human missions. Now is the biggest and the oldest planet in our solar system. Jupiter is the fifth planet on the sun and the largest in the solar system. It is a gas giant with mass more than two half times that of all the other planets in the solar system combined. Jupiter requires 11.86 years to orbit the sun. Jupiter is the third brightest natural object in Earth's night sky after the moon and Venus. Jupiter was the first planet to form. Jupiter is primarily composed of hydrogen followed by helium. Jupiter's shape is an oblatal spheroid. It has a great red spot, a giant storm. Jupiter is surrounded by a faint planetary ring system and has a powerful magnetosphere. Jupiter forms a system of 95 known moons, four large moons discovered by Galileo in 1610 that are Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto. Ganymede is the largest one and Callisto is the second largest. Io and Europa are approximately the size of Earth's moon. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun and second largest in the solar system after Jupiter. It is a gas giant with an average radius 
of nine half times that of Earth. Saturn's interior core is surrounded by a deep layer of metallic hydrogen, an intermediate layer of liquid hydrogen and liquid helium, and finally a gaseous outer layer. Saturn has a pale yellow hue due to ammonia cr crystals in its upper atmosphere. Saturn's magnetic field strength is around one twentieth of Jupiter's. The outer atmosphere of Saturn is generally bland and lacking in contrast. Wind speeds of Saturn can reach 1,800 km per hour. Saturn has a prominent ring system. At least 146 moons are known to orbit the planet, of which 63 are officially named. Titan, Saturn's largest moon and the second largest moon in solar system is larger than the planet Mercury and is the only moon in the solar system to have a substantial atmosphere. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. Most of the planet is made of water, ammonia and methane. Its poles get 42 years of continuous sunlight followed by 42 years of continuous darkness. Due to this, Uranus is the coldest planet in our solar system. Uranus has the third largest diameter and fourth largest mass among the solar system planets. Uranus has peak wind speed of 900 km per hour, variation in its polar cap and its erratic cloud formation. The planet uh, also has a very low internal heat compared to other giant planets. Uranus has a ring system orbiting natural satellites and a magnetosphere. Uranus has known 30 inner moons, 5 major moons of planet that are Miranda, Ariel, Umbrain, Titania and Oberon. Now we will see the last planet of our solar system. Neptune is the 8th and the farthest planet from the sun. It is the 4th largest planet in our solar system by diameter, the 3rd most massive planet and the dennest giant planet. It is 17 times the mass of Earth. Neptune has no well-defined solid surface. The planet orbits the sun once every 164.8 years. Its largest moon Triton was discovered shortly. Neptune's atmosphere is composed by hydrogen and helium. Similar to Uranus, its interior primarily composed of ices and rocks. Both planets are normally considered ice giants to distinguish them. The blue color of Neptune is more saturated than Uranus. So friends, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep watching my upcoming videos. I am going to put interesting videos like this. So be like, share and subscribe my channel. See you. Bye.